Hello friends, today we're going to be working on this little generic SUA2000 portable generator. This is from Amazon, and I don't even know if it's a, any brand name in particular, it's just kind of weird, but here you can see what it is. 2000 watts, it's got several different kinds of outlets here. It has a low oil cutoff, it has a 12 volt power plug, overload reset, Got a fuel cap up here and you actually have a valve here where you can turn the fuel off or on and then there's a fuel gauge right here you can look in and check the fuel there's park plug access is here and great works good not really noisy either but for a little generator anyway um the thing is it's all of a sudden won't start so i'm gonna take it apart and have a look at the carburetor check the spark all that kind of stuff check the oil make sure it's got enough oil in it because this has a low oil cut off too we're going to start by taking off these Phillips screws on the side. Two Phillips screws, one on this top corner here and one over there. And then the whole panel just pulls toward you and pops out of place. You can see all the different little clips and hangers on it. That exposes the inner workings to us a little bit. Let's pull out some of these different trim pieces here. The insulating pieces, I guess we call them. There we go. And now we can see the carburetor, the cylinder head, the air cleaner intake, and the oil level check, the oil dipstick. Oh, and we can also get a better look at the spark plug here. To reach in here, you remove the plug wire from the top of the plug, and then put your wrench down through this hole here. Now it makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and check the oil first. Then we're going to drain a little bit of fluid out of the carburetor, see if there's gas in it. Let's check the, let's check the oil. Now you can see on a dipstick here, it's covered with hash marks, with the low mark being way down at the bottom of the dipstick, and the high mark being all the way up at the top by the thread. So it gives you quite a range of oil level. Let's, we're going to assume it's probably like a Honda, where you check it by pushing it in, but not screwing it in. Just push it in so it's flush, and then pull it back out. And if that's the case, the oil is really, really low. I didn't actually get any on the dipstick. Let's screw it in and see if that way, if we have any oil on the dipstick. There we go, and back out. Still no oil. I bet our problem is a little oil cut off in this. We're going to top it off and see what happens. I put 10 ounces of oil into it, and it's just barely up onto the dipstick now. So I'm going to have to see if it'll start now like this, but we're definitely going to have to get some more oil into it before we proceed too much farther or at least before we start running it. If it starts up good now, we'll say it's good to go with the addition of some extra oil as soon as we check out how if it's running or not. Well, look at that. Fork pull and it's running. We had to turn it to choke, pulled it four times, then turned it back to run. Look at that. It's just like you, eh? I tell you, I'm pretty impressed. This is the easiest repair I've had to do in ever, forever practically. So now I just gotta go find some more oil, top it off, and it'll be good to go for my son's camping fishing trip this weekend. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and be sure to do your maintenance, check your oil, and your fuel, and your bark before you get carried away into spending a lot of money on something, because sometimes it's just as simple as those basic things. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and Bye for now.